Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. You are back with Mystery Meerkat and we are playing We Happy Few again today. Uh, so we're just going to get straight on with our story, continue on. Uh, in the last episode, um, we completed the mission for Ollie and found out that the tanks were made out of papier-mâché, so they were completely fake. Um, and that was the reason why we'd sent all the children away to Germany. Um, so we're just going to continue on from there. Um, look for some more side missions and see what we've got. Uh, but I think I'm going to follow the main story and... Uh, I'm a bit of a completionist when it comes to the side missions, so I don't know whether I'm going to put any more of those into the series uh, or not, um, as I've got quite a few things going on right now, so I really need to finish some of the games that I've started. So, let's get into this and see what we've got today. I don't need no more Rose of Gilead petals for now. We've got tons of them. Bloody hell. Oh, bloody hell. So, shall we see if they let us in here now? Lovely day for it. Unfortunately, the bridge is not open at this time. It was working just a minute ago, but the door is broken again. You'll have to wait until it's up again. Do you ever let anybody in? Oh, yes. There's someone in there now. And in the past month? Well, in the past month. Ah! There's a chap in there right now. You don't really want anyone back from the Garden District, do you? Hell, my wastrel friend. No one goes off their joy can actually take joy. I mean, would you? Everybody feels better if that door stays broken. You, us, everybody. Well, Constable Wright, I suppose now I can tell Central why the bridge keeps breaking down. Central? Ever seen one of these? Oh, bugger me. Y you're not some sort of undercover bridge inspector. This device detects structural <laughs> irregularities using shortwave radar. But I don't think it will show me the real problem. Will it, Constable Wright? Look, sir, you can fix that door, but them wastrels still ain't gonna take that joy. It makes them see eyes everywhere. That's not for you to decide, is it? No, sir. The, the, the maintenance hatch is that way, sir. I, I, I'd be grateful if you forgot this conversation ever, ever happened. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. Alright, so we've got past the Bobby. So that's interesting, though, because what he's effectively saying is they're stopping people from getting from the Garden District through this gate by breaking the gate all the time. Oh, bugger. If I really was from Central, I'd have the card, wouldn't I? There is another way, though, isn't there? Is there? Nothing in them. Please take, Please a take a number and sit down. There's nobody else here. Please take a number and sit down. Right, okay. Ah, I don't know. Celebrations planned for joy anniversary. How long is this going to take? Number two. Now serving oh, number go. two. Welcome to the rehabilitation centre. Actually, I'm just a sort of undercover bridge inspector from Central. See this device? Uh, it detects structural... It... Then you should have no trouble passing the test, should you? Please head through the door there and begin your rehabilitation. Right, okay. I'm not entirely sure that I really want to go through here. Then she did say through here, right? Or is it? Th oh no. Wrong way. Okay, let's go. Hmm. I'm not sure whether I like this. That's a bit weird. Please deposit 
put your personal belongings into this box, retaining only your clothes. Oh, what? Please continue to the decontamination room. I don't like the fact that they're taking all my stuff off me. Okay. Please discard your news? clothes. Don't worry, you will be provided with new, proper clothes after decontamination. Can we not talk to him? I really would have liked to talk to him. But apparently not. Apparently we can't talk to that dude. Right. Undressing room. Please discard all soiled clothes yeah, in the hamper. Percy, I just got promenading about, wondering why everyone was staring. He never did quite grasp what's so important about wearing clothes. Shower. Wind us still and wind us. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Go to make okay. <laughs> <laughs> make the mighty yet go to make the mighty This is a bit weird. Make the mighty yet. Congratulations, okay, so <laughs> you have been decontaminated. Please proceed to the next room and obtain fresh, new, proper, clean clothes. I oh, hope she's not watching okay. and judging. Proper suit. Don't you look wonderful? Please proceed to the next room. In case there Suits is provided any by a stitch in time. odor of the garden district on you, please enjoy this refreshing scent of country flowers. Is that oh, nice. Licorice? Why licorice? Get ready for the most important moment in your rehabilitation. Please take your favorite flavor of joy. Vanilla, chocolate, or strawberry. Right, okay, so... Oh, I must insist that you not traverse the beams of the joy detector without taking your joy, sir. Okay, then. Oh, damn it! Were serious about taking my joy, weren't they? What? What? What even is this? Was this? Okay, I guess we're just taking the joy then, right? Can we not take the joy? Oh, there we go. Yeah, I want a strawberry anyway. Joy makes you happy, but take care not to take too much. The joy melter meter, melter. What am I on about? The joy meter will help you track your joy experimentation. If the joy meter fills, you will overdose and suffer penalties to combat, crafting, and conformity until the overdose passes. Okay, so don't overdose on joy. As you take more joy, you'll notice a memory loss counter around the joy meter. This counter tracks your memory loss from taking joy too many times. When this meter is full, you will crash and suffer severe penalties. Okay, so for this reason you should only use joy tactically and only when necessary. Snug as a bug on a drug. There you, you are. You good now? Lovely day for it. Alright. Lovely day for Please it. Head into the theater and take a seat. This room is for showing Uncle Jack only. It's not for other activities. Use the cozy cottages if you must. <laughs> oh dear. I guess we're sitting. Excellent. Sit tight and enjoy the show. And now it's time for the Uncle Jack Etiquette Minute. You may be wondering. How can I fit in better in Hamlin Village? Well, not it's really. Easy. To get along, go along. If someone tells you it's a lovely day, then 
agree with them. <laughs> because, of course, it's always a lovely day in Havlin Village, so don't be afraid of talking to people first. They'll appreciate it. Now, I'm assuming, of course, that you're decently dressed. Eh? Clothes make the man, eh? Indeed, naked people have almost no influence at all in society. <laughs> and don't dress in rags either, or people might think you're a wastrel. Now, what should you do if people are staring at you? Maybe they're asking you if you remember to take your joy. Who cares? Just pop another and they'll congratulate you and go on about their day. And if things seem to be getting a bit hectic, remember, you can always sit on a bench, relax and open the Hamlin or Quran. Take a load off. No one will bother you when you're sitting on a bench. Unless you've made them very angry. <laughs> or, I don't know, watch Jack Worthing on television. He's very good. <laughs> well, I'm afraid we've come to the end of our time. Tune in tomorrow for another Etiquette Minute with Jack Worthing. That's me. Isn't Uncle Jack wonderful? Now, please proceed to the third floor, where you will be tested on what you've just relearned. Okay, then. So we've got to pass a quiz. I like how when you're on your joy, you like you swing your arms <laughs> when Just you're walking. Just a friendly like. reminder, Uncle Jack, don't mention it, but a word to the wise: proper decent people don't like people what is running, jumping, crouching, spying, sneaking, breaking, or entering. Such like behaviours is what we associate with downers. Avoid them, and we shan't have disagreements. Okay then. This is like a game show. Oh, for heaven's sake. What the, what the hell? Serious. Are you ready to behave? Now, our five guest questioners are going to ask you one question each. All you have to do is show us that you understand how to behave yourself in Wellington Wells. Okay, then. Mr. Cashier, what question do you have for our prodigal son or daughter? Final cashier. Glad he's still around. If you want to fit in, you should. Hey! Say hello to everyone you meet, like what you do. B. Visit people's houses, whether they're there or not. C. The eyes, the eyes. Uh, it's gotta be A, right? Yes, that's right. It never hurts to say hello to people. Player two, I'm afraid the eyes, the eyes. Was not the right answer. <laughs> Mrs. Browning, what would you like to know? If you realise you're wearing rags, should you A. Pop a joy. B. Put on proper clothes for God's sake. And why not pop a joy? C. Why does everything have eyes? B. Obviously. Obviously. Is this guy gonna choose C again? The eyes? Yeah, of course he is. Player one, that's exactly right. If you need to get somewhere, don't lurk about like a rotten downer, or run like you're fleeing the scene, or jump about. No need to be in a hurry in Hamlin Village. Player two, do try to pay attention. We want you to succeed. They don't, they don't want you to succeed at all. Mrs. Sackville, your question please. If you want to make friends with me, should you A. Give me flowers. B. Talk about old times. C. Stop 
stop staring at me? Why is everything staring? <laughs> That's A. Give her some flowers. He's gonna choose C again, isn't he? Yeah. The eyes! Excellent! Yes! Do give the ladies a lovely bouquet. They do so love flowers. Oh dear, it looks like the eyes have you both, as they say. How disappointing. Remember, doctors are here to help you. If you've forgotten your joy, doctors will smell it right away. And they'll give you a quick injection to make your day a lovely one. Dr. Byron, what is your question? What happens when you take too much joy? A. You can't find your own house. B. Who cares? C. Please, God, make them stop staring. Oh, I don't actually even know for this one. It's going to be A or B, obviously. Uh, just like B. Who cares? Didn't Remember, we? we're always happy to give you another shot if you're willing to behave like a decent citizen. Of course we are. Here in Hamlin Village, we're always happy. Well, that's a relief. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's time to play Oh Behave. We've the just done this. I've just done this. I passed the test. Oh, for heaven's sake, I'm not going to do this again. How do I get out of here? Are you ready to behave? Now, our five guest questioners are going to ask you one question each. All you have to do is show us that you understand how to behave yourself in Wellington Wells. Mr. Cashier, what question do you have for our prodigal son or daughter? If you want to fit in, you should. Hey, say hello to everyone you meet, like what you do. B! Visit people's houses, whether they're there or not. See the eyes, the eyes. All right, then. I'm getting out of here. Oh, we haven't got a lockpick, have we? Okay, so I don't know where we are. Oh, there's my pneumatic stash right there. So... Does that mean I have to like pick up all my stuff myself? Oh, that's really annoying. Right, I think that should just about do us. Oh, looks like we made it. May I express my delight that you passed the examination, sir? We've not had as many as we'd hoped, sir. Not as many at all. And yet, they say the unexamined life is not worth living. Well, sir, welcome back. Oh, and in case your rustication has been of long duration, please bear in mind there is now a nocturnal curfew. Best be indoors after nightfall, sir. Right, okay, so we're not allowed out at night. Well, we, we can go out at night, probably, but we'll probably have to avoid the bobbies, I would suspect. Isn't this wonderful? Up, 
soon, I imagine. Oh, I can't remember the last time Lovely someone came through. Lovely. Lovely. Welcome back to... So from here, I've got to get to St George's home and then into the parade. Except that I need a letter of transit to get into the parade. Like the one I left on my desk in the parade. How do I get a new one? Wait. The old government printing office was on Maiden Home. Maybe I can break in and steal some blanks. So we can't run around here. We've already got bandages, so we don't need to craft new bandages. Let's go. What's this? Shopkeepers that sell helpful items. So I guess we're kind of back into civilization a little bit now. Lovely weather. Right as rain. Right as rain. Lovely day for it. Is this a shop guy? Lovely day for it. Lionel Cashier. Nice to see the old shop still running. As long as the old ticker's going. Come to buy or come to sell. Arthur, mm. you're an ingenious sort of fellow. I'm a buyer, a collector, who likes to collect golden records. Now, I happen to know where there's three of them out in the garden district. If you'd go get them for me, I'd make it worth your while. Why don't you get them? Go to the garden district? Oh, oh, of course, of course, there's, there's nothing I'd like better. <laughs> go out there, see the old streets, but I'm uh, so busy with the shop and all, oh, I can hardly <laughs> step out for Simon Says. <laughs> and you know how people are when you miss a village activity. No, no, uh, here's a map for you. Best if you do it. Thanks. What's your pleasure then? Workbench upgrade kit. Uh, I will take that. I also need do need some more sugar. Okay then, so this guy sells a lot oh, of good like stuff. That. It's one of my favorites. Right then, uh, let's have a look at the map. Track access hatch, right, okay, so let's go to... Ooh. Did not mean to do that. Where did it say the access hatch was? Just here. Lovely day for it. Lovely day for it. <laughs> uh oh. No need to get excited after all. Right <laughs> oh no. This is bad. Lord, why are there peepers patrolling the park? I should snoop around a bit. There's the one that did it. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> Poor thing. What can I do for you today? <laughs> That's it. Keep running. No need to get excited after all. Oh, they can come through doors. You feeling all wrong? You might want to see a doctor. Are you feeling... I'm going to die here. I have a feeling. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yep, there we go. I'm dying. Well, this is all because I made one little tiny mistake. It was bad. The bobbies are far too strong. Go away. There we go. Well, I didn't want to die. But that's how easy it is to die in that area. So our joy is... Oh, our withdrawal has finally worn off. Thank God. Right, let's try and find the hatch. So where are we? Down here, and then to the right. Unless we're not doing anything stupid. Like we just did. So 
So down this one on the next one. This one. What happened to him? Well, I'm not quite sure. He's been a solid citizen long as I've been on this beat. Then today he's going on about leaving Amlin, waving around a suitcase like a rotten downer. Well, we can't have that. Don't know where he thought he was going. Nobody goes to the Garden District down after. Maybe he had relatives across the bridge. <laughs> That's right. There's been an outbreak of relatives across the bridge. Has there been an outbreak of downers? Um, no. Of course not. There's nothing to worry about. Well, that's a relief. I'm sure the joy is just as good as it's ever been. Each batch just gets better and better. <laughs> you keep taking it. It'll take care of you. Okay, then. So... It's telling me that the track access hatch is like behind there. Or in there. Oh, here it is. Okay. Look, got, got me confused there. Oh, wow, okay. Poor guys. Oh, I suppose there are more lingering ways to go. Um. Alright, so I guess we have to turn this electric off somehow. Like all the way over there. At least I think that's it. It's still a bit sloshy. Good place there for we go. giant octopi. I had to take a chance there and <laughs> hope that the uh, electric wasn't going to kill me. Hold the upgrade workbench. Oh wow. Okay, that's a big workbench. I make trainers. Metal tube. Used in crafting. Not got no more of those. What we got over here? Vomit bomb and tea. Uh, let's enable the track access hatch. I've got to secure the area. Switch again. I'm in business. There we go. without anyone trying to kill me. There we are. So that's all done. <laughs> oh, so 
sorry. Sorry, dearie. Please don't tell anyone. I promise I'll stop crying. I'll take my joy, I promise. Don't worry. I will keep your secret. I miss them. I miss them so. I miss them too. You used to grow lilies. Lilies? Well, I thought you meant the... Lilies? I overwatered them last year. Killed them. And I can't find fresh bulbs anywhere. We used to grow them together, Violet and I. Before her husband got so jealous. I've one of the last proper vegetable gardens in all of Hamlin. But no one will trade me lily bulbs. Well, you never know. Maybe some will turn up. Would you like some tea? Thanks, but... I must be going. Poor thing. She does miss her lilies. And I think her, uh, friend, too. Hmm. Wait okay, a Okay, so... There's a lily patch in the garden district, isn't there? On Lud's home. Every time we went past it, Percy told me the exact same thing about how a lily patch lasts for practically ever until you rip the bulbs out. Maybe I could do a nice, sad old lady a favour. So we need to... There's a lot of stuff that we need to go back... Uh, oops, uh, back to the garden district for by the looks of things. Right, what do we want to do next then, actually? Um, if I turn around, there's something buried. But I believe that that is the garden that's blocked off. Oh, no, not again. Oh no, come on. At least I found somewhere to hide, right? I'm so used to sort of running around in the garden district and it not being a problem that it's gonna be it's gonna take some getting used to. I'm not being able to run around around here. I think I can see her uh a memory in the distance over there too. All right, they stopped trying to chase me now. Thank you. Memory. Percy, you're soaked. I'm fine. You're not. Your lips are blue and you're shivering. Where's your coat? In the closet. Why didn't you put it on? I don't know. It's been raining all day. Did he not notice the drops of water falling out of the sky? It was. Hmm. It, it wasn't raining. It was drizzling. Now you're going to get sick, and then I'm going to get sick, and then Dad is going to get sick. Okay. No. Right. Those are the nuts. <laughs> Oh yeah, let's go and hide near these guys. That's what we're supposed to be doing, I believe. Oh, there we go. <gasps> oh! <laughs> They're not getting over it now, are they? I wonder if I can help him. Oh dear. <laughs> Funny. You smell... important. Yes, I'm a chemist. And I've invented a new cologne. I call it Mojo. It makes you smell like a doctor. You see, Beatrice has always had a soft spot for doctors. And you know how they have that distinctive smell. Mojo makes you smell like that. And it works? Not on Beatrice. Doctors are much nicer to me. But she is not. Have you tried giving her flowers? She only likes night-blooming nonsuches. And where would I get those? In the garden district. Right. Well, good luck then. <laughs> hmm. Right, okay, so I need a night-blooming nonsuch for him. 
Do I need to talk to her? I don't think I do. Okay, so I think I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna head back to the hatch. Well, that was scenic. That's random. Uh, I'm gonna head back to the hatch so we can save the Ask game, get some sleep. Um. We'll wake up in the morning and see what it's like outside. Uh, in fact, mm, here we go. Sweet dreams. I'll sleep till then. Right, so I'm gonna leave this episode here, guys. Um, I hope you have indeed enjoyed watching. Uh, some more we happy few with me. And uh, any comments that you've got, leave them in the comment section down below. Um, don't forget to smash that like button, of course. And lastly, if you've not already done so, please do subscribe to the channel. And also tick that notifications bell, uh, which lets you know when I'm loaded, uploading content. Anyway, guys, until the next one, peace out.